I'm Shetta Singh and you're watching Go Island on Shaw TV. On today's show, water, water everywhere. The Gulf Islands National Park gets bigger. History from the Atlantic Ocean makes waves in the Cowichan Valley. And later on in the show, underwater geocaching in Port Alberni. All that and much more coming up on Go Island. It's that time of the year. It's that season, I guess you could say. The mint chocolate cookies from Girl Guides are out and I'm joined by some Girl Guides and of course Colleen. Hi. Hi. So where does um, your fundraising with the cookies? We fundraise twice a year. In the fall it's the chocolatey mint, in the spring it's the, tra the traditional cookies. Yeah. And what, where does this go? The fundraising, it brings money in at all levels. It brings it in at our national level, at our provincial level, right down to the girls in the units. And it contributes to just about everything we do. It supports the camps, it supports some of the activities that they do, the badges, and all the way back up to international travel. Now when we look at Girl Guides, how many would you say you have? How many Girl Guides? How many Girl Guides? Well, in Canada, there's somewhere upwards of 80,000. Wow. Um, locally here we have about 300 adults and I think almost 1,600 girls at last count. Now for yourself, why is this important to you? I think it's important to give people opportunities to do stuff that they can't always do, like traveling and um, just anything. anything. And leadership skills, that really helped me. Mm -hmm. um, and do you have a favorite, I guess, what you do now? What do you do now? You were talking about you don't do the badges as much. No, well, I'm in a thing called Trex, and Trex is more on the adventure side of guiding. And so it's for Pathfinder and Ranger age girls, so I believe from 12 mm -hmm. to 17. Yeah. And you, at least my unit, we only meet to plan events, and then we go on those events. Oh, and we do lots of fundraisers as a unit as well. Do you have a favorite event you've done recently? Um, a couple years ago I went to Seattle Okay. for four days with that right. unit. That was really fun. But I love the Space Needle, <laughs> I won't lie. And the food there too. Um, how about for yourself? Um, well, it's fun and it's a way to meet new friends yeah. and get away from everything else and just have fun with all the girls involved in girl guiding. Yeah. Now, you earn badges? Yes, I do. Do you have a favorite? I think my camping one or my cookie selling one. Yeah? Yeah. Do you enjoy selling the cookies? I do yeah. enjoy selling cookies. Do you find like a lot of people are just, they really want them? Yeah. Elderly women like to buy them <laughs> because they used to be in Girl Guides yeah. and they'll share stories and you'll share, share your stories and you sort of bond with them. So the girls will be selling cookies door to door and at various venues around town. We do cookie blitzes and we try to catch people as they're coming and going in the grocery shopping. The main thing to remember is we need cash. We need $5 cash. We can't take credit. Yeah. So please bring some cash. And uh, online? Online, uh, if you can't find a girl in your neighborhood, you can uh, Google Girl Guides BC, get to uh, South Vancouver Island and we'll be able to help you out that way. There you go, thank you. All right, well spending outdoors is something they do a lot of and of course one of the best places to go is our very own Gulf Islands National Park. Well James Green tells us the park is actually getting bigger. It seems like a good park to visit. I think um, I should add into my list of things to do. Continuing with our water theme, our next story is about the Atlantic Ocean and the Second World War. Jen Moran has caught up with a Cowichan Valley man who's going to great lengths to preserve some Atlantic history. A quick break now. When we come back, you've heard of geocaching. Now you'll get to hear about underwater geocaching. That story in a moment. Just offshore, there's a small little wreck, a little tug tugboat that's um, all broken up on the bottom. It's not very deep, it's only about 30 feet. It's not a big wreck, so you can easily search all around it. Welcome back to Go Island. Kim Rock will be up in a moment, but first up, you've heard a lot of stories about geocaching. The next one we're going to show you has a bit of a twist. Here's Jenny Fortin up in Port Alberni. 
So um, I'm joined by Kim Rock, who is, for some reason, dressed like a girl guy. Well, our whole tribute today was about the cookies. Why are you dressed <laughs> as a girl guy? Because I like cookies. I like cookies. Do you see me dressed as a girl guy? I thought maybe they could get more cookies if I was and dressed like And apparently you're not too old to be a girl guy. <laughs> Actually, no. I think I'm a girl <laughs> fossil. Like a sa sailor. <laughs> sailor, no, no. You but like I would go sailing. <laughs> you would go sailing if you could? Only if there's cookies. That's all it takes, folks. Just take cookies on a sailboat and she'll run after you. <laughs> All right, you got some Ready? big ticket events? I got some big ticket events. What's up? Little rock trivia. What? I know how you love you know, the rock why do you trivia. Do this to me? Because Every it's time. funny. No. And because I'm so much taller than you. She always does this. I'm five two and a half. I say five three, round it up. Oh, just get over it. Anyways, what's up? <laughs> Vancouver Hardcore Society is putting on a wicked show. It's called the Comeback Kid. Uh-huh. So the, they're from Winnipeg, okay. Manitoba. There's nothing to do there in the winter, so why not form a kick a rock band? Oh, that's good. That would be awesome. Yeah. They formed in 2002 and they're huge. Huge in the US, huge in the UK. They have tons of followers. They're coming here to Victoria, the Victoria Event Center on Broad Street on Friday, November the 9th. And tickets are only 15 bucks. Anything else? Moving on. We're Moving getting on. a little older. Oh, it's like she's going through the ages. <laughs> and a little, still rocking, yeah. but older rock. Okay. We're talking about Colin James, uh -huh. another good Canadian kid. Guess where he's from? Mm. He's a prairie boy. Oh, another one? Mm. Okay. Regina, oh, okay. Saskatchewan. Regina. <laughs> Again, not a lot to do yeah. in Regina, Saskatchewan. So oh, let's form do. a rock band. <laughs> Single of the year in 1991 mm -hmm. was Guess Which One? I don't know. It's what it's the one song that I absolutely love. You gotta know this one. Something metal and rock. No, I just came back to say goodbye. <laughs> no. Come on, it's so popular. I can't believe you don't get that one. You don't listen to music at all. I do don't you? listen to that music. <laughs> He's playing November the sixth at the Port Theater in Nanaimo and November seventh at the Royal Theater in Victoria. And you can get tickets online at Live Nation or at the box office. And last but not least, I'm going to go super opposite ends of the spectrum here. Yeah. We're going to talk about Sarah Brightman. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay so how old? I actually know who you're talking about. Guess how old she is. How old is she? You would never guess how old she is. I saw pictures of her and I was blown away. She's like 52 years old. Really? She looks good for her age. Actually, I have seen, Yeah, I have seen. Yeah. She to, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, wow. she's coming to Victoria. She's playing the Save on Foods Memorial Center on March 20th, 2013. This is in launch with her new Dreamcatcher album that drops in January. So you got to definitely check it out. I, I guarantee she's going to sell out. Probably. I yeah. think so. Tickets go on sale on Monday the 15th and you can pick them up at Select Your Tickets. So there's your broad big ticket events. Big ticket events. And um, okay girl guide, good job. Still to come, we'll meet a motivational spe uh, speaker. His name is Peter Hicks right after the break. Hey, get out of my cookie. There's a mirror beside my bed. And I, I don't even get out of bed. I just cross my legs and I put my arms in the air and I think to myself, and I say out loud, it's going to be an absolutely awesome day. We all face challenges, but the next man you're about to meet might pale in comparison. Peter Hicks has had three brain tumors removed, but now he's about to do something he never thought he would do. Dan Kahn has his story. That's all the time we have on today's show. Thanks for joining us. Thanks to the girl guides for coming down, um, telling us about what they're all about. And of course, cookies, the mint chocolatey mint cookies. They're so good and they're best with green tea. That's how I eat them. Um, don't forget, you can check us out on Twitter. There we are right there. Like us at Go Island South. And we, guess what? We're also on Facebook. So like us, we are Shaw TV South Island. You have all of our stories, comments, anything up there. We put it up there, all the information you need. And um, I'll see you next time. Chocolatey mint cookies. Oh, okay. <laughs>